All right. Thank you, Raquel. Well, we are joined now by Brooke Peterson with Riverson or <laughs> Riverview at Hobson Grove. I'm just mixing all those words together. And we also have Luke Jean, who is with Balanced Distilleries. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Brooke, we have to talk about the bourbon and bow ties event that it you tie into this as well, and we will talk about that in just a second. But tell me a little bit about the bourbon and bow ties. Well, this is our annual fundraiser for um, Riverview at Hobson Grove Historic House Museum. And this year it is going to be on Friday, April the 19th. It's going to be from 6 to 10 p.m. and it's going to be um, at the One Roof venue on Fountain Square in the Pushin building. And we're really excited. We have, of course, some um, wonderful vendors who are gonna be doing a um, signature cocktail um, contest and we'll have tastings. Uh, we'll have heavy appetizers and a cash bar okay. and a silent auction and all of that will benefit Riverview. We also have a few vendors where you can do some shopping. Okay, nice. Yes. All right. And it and it benefits a river review, right? It you does. Just said that. Yes. And and all the things that, that you need to keep that beautiful landmark going and where people can come see it too. So it's a beautiful place and we'll talk more about that in just a second. So Luke, now you are with Balanced Distilleries, you're the owner. Yes. And what signature drink are you making? Or are we gonna make something else today because you have to keep that a surprise? So we are going to be providing samples and bottle sales at the event. So mm -hmm. folks can uh, sample all our uh, moonshines that we have. Today we are making the Balanced Distilling Margarita. Okay. Uh, we call it that because it's the perfect balance of sweet, sour, and spicy. Oh, uh, okay. That's a perfect thing uh, to make for us today. So how, where do we start on this? So we're going to start by rimming our glass here. Uh, take a little lime, just like you would with any margarita. Uh, instead of our traditional uh, salted rim, we are going to use tahini. This is what I like to use cooking, um, which everything I like to cook with, I usually like to throw in the still. Okay. Uh, we're then going to take us some ice here. And from there, we're gonna do one ounce of our blackberry moonshine okay. and one ounce of our hot pepper moonshine. And I get to taste all this? Oh, yes. Am I, <laughs> am I gonna be crying? Do I need a tissue? Oh, Will my no, nose no, be running? No. Okay. Because <laughs> you said spicy. I wasn't sure, you know, if we're talking nuclear or just wimpy kind of spice. So I call it a sweet spicy. Um, I like people to be able to enjoy things. So uh, that's what we're <laughs> that, doing here. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we put our alcohol in. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm also a really lazy bartender, uh, so I use uh, limeade that's already pre-made. There you go. Uh, it helps out the party. I can enjoy the party a lot more. Top it off there. And then finally, we're just going to garnish with our lime. That's really pretty, too. Look at that. And how easy is that to make? Now, I'm going to try that in just a second, but okay. tell me, um, why why you want to be a part of this event? Why is it important for Balanced Distilleries to be a part of this? So the community, uh, our tasting room has been open since April. Uh, the community has really helped us out in building our dream of a distillery. Uh, so we want to be a part of this to uh, provide a way to, to help out the community and make it a, a, a place that people want to visit um, and maintain history. Yeah, okay. And, and Brooke, tell me a little bit about Riverview. Uh, we got about a minute left and tell me about about the history and and what it means to this community. Yes, well, we are the only historic house museum in Warren County, and um, I was just discussing this with him before we came on. The um, construction of the house spanned the Civil War, and when the Confederate Army came into Bowling Green, only the basement walls existed. And so, in order to save his home, Atwood Hobson worked out a deal that it became munitions storage. But it took until 1872 to finish because um, everyone in Bowling Green needed the same building materials. So, uh -huh. um, we had a great group of ladies and gentlemen here in town who decided to restore the house in the late 60s and to make it something where our community could learn about history and kind of have a more hands-on experience for people who learn better that way. 
So oh. it's great to share it with everyone. And we need events just like the bourbon and bow ties to um, keep this place going. And Brooke, real quick, how do we get tickets? You can get tickets um, on our website. There's a link, bgky.org slash Riverview. You can also find them on Facebook and Instagram. And if we are not sold out, which we are thinking is a distinct possibility, you can yeah. buy them at the door. Okay. All right. Well, um, tell me the name of this drink. The Balanced Distilling Margarita. There you go. Bottoms up. Thank you. Mm.